Roth IRAs can make you tax-free millionaires. They're one of the most powerful accounts that you can have, but only 6.6% .6 of Americans have one. Here is everything you need to know about the Roth IRA. So what is the Roth IRA? Well, the Roth IRA is an individual retirement account, and you actually have to open this account yourself. It's not like a 401k where you can open it up through your job. Some of my favorite places to open a Roth IRA are Fidelity, Vanguard, Charles Schwab, or M1 Finance. But the question then comes up, well, how does a Roth IRA actually work? A Roth IRA is where you contribute money you've already been taxed on, your net income that you've already paid taxes on, and that money goes into the Roth IRA and it grows tax-free and you can pull the money out tax-free. But the key thing is you have to invest the dollars that you contribute to a Roth IRA. A lot of people think a common misconception is that the Roth IRA is the investment. That is absolutely not true. The Roth IRA is the account that allows you to put your dollars into an investment. So what makes the Roth IRA so special? There's two things that make it truly, truly special. The biggest one is that you get tax-free growth on your investments. And the second amazing thing is that you get tax-free withdrawals on your investments. This is the opposite of a 401k or a traditional IRA. Whereas with a 401k, you put your money in, that money is not taxed yet, but your money grows. And when you pull the money out, you're taxed on that money when you pull it out. The Roth IRA, you're not taxed when you pull that money out. And the amazing thing is you can buy and sell securities without getting taxed inside of the Roth IRA. In addition, you can also pull your contributions out of the Roth IRA as well. That's the money you actually put into the Roth IRA. You can pull that money out tax free. But there's a catch and there's four Roth IRA rules that I want you to understand. The Roth IRA rules are this. Number one, there are income limits for high earners. Number two, tax-free withdrawals typically occur after the age of 59 and a half. Number three, there's an annual contribution of $6,500 in 2023. And number four, the account must have been open for at least five or more years before you can start to withdraw the money. Now let's break down each one of these rules. Now rule number one is the income limit. You can only make a certain amount of money to be able to contribute to a Roth IRA. IRA. So in 2023, if you're single, you have to make $153,000 or less to be able to contribute to a Roth IRA. If you're married, filed jointly, you have to make $228,000 or less to be able to contribute to a Roth IRA. If you make more than these amounts, you cannot contribute to a Roth IRA. But your boys got your back. There is an exception to this rule. The exception to this rule is called the backdoor Roth IRA. And the backdoor Roth IRA is an amazing way for high earners to still get their money into a Roth IRA. This is the way I get my own personal money into a Roth IRA every single year. And the way you do this is you contribute to a traditional IRA, then convert that money to a Roth IRA. Here's the step-by-step -step on how to do that. So step one is to open a traditional IRA. Step two is to contribute money to that traditional IRA. Step three, and this is a key one, is do not invest those dollars. You're just going to use the traditional IRA as a pass-through to get that money into the Roth IRA. Step four is to convert that money to the Roth IRA. Now, it's usually easier to open the traditional IRA where you have your Roth IRA because it's a really easy transfer over and it makes this backdoor IRA process that much easier. And then number five is invest the money. So making sure that once that money gets into the Roth IRA, then you're investing those dollars so those dollars can grow for you over time. Now, if you're still worried about this, you can consult a professional to figure out exactly how to do this so you make sure the process is easy. But if you follow those steps, I'm very confident confident that you'll be able to do it. Now let's look at rule two, tax-free withdrawals. So you can't withdraw gains tax-free until the age of 59 and a half. If you do it early before the age of 59 and a half, you're going to have some penalties. Remember, you can withdraw the contributions. You cannot withdraw the gains, the money that your money made when it was inside of the account. But there are certain things that you can do to withdraw the money early, including those gains for certain situations. Here are some of those situations. You can withdraw the money for an education expense. So if you have an education education expense, you go back to college, you can withdraw the money for a disability or a debt. That is another reason why you can withdraw the money early. You can withdraw the money for birth or adoption. So any of those two reasons, if you don't have money for the birth of your child, or you want to adopt a child, you can withdraw the money penalty free for that. You can withdraw the money if you don't have health insurance and you're unemployed. You can do it for a first time home purchase, as long as it's $10,000 or under. So the max is $10,000. And you can withdraw the money for unreimbursed 
first medical expenses. So those are all situations where you can withdraw the money early, specifically the growth of your money over time. Now let's look at rule three, which is the annual contribution limit. So unfortunately, you can't put as much money as you want into a Roth IRA every single year. There's contribution limits. And in 2023, the contribution limit is $6,500. But if you're over the age of 50, there's this beautiful thing called a catch-up contribution. So for people who are age 50 and over, the IRS set out this rule so they could catch up for retirement. They have something called the catch-up contribution. So within a Roth IRA, you can have a catch-up contribution of an additional $1,000. So instead of $6,500 for the year 2023, you can now contribute $7,500 if you're the over the age of 50. And if you're over the age of 50, I would definitely take advantage of this. This is a massive benefit to you to be able to take advantage of that $1,000 catch-up contribution. Now, rule four is the account age. And this is what trips up a lot of people because a Roth IRA must be open for at least five years before you can withdraw from it without penalty. This is really important to understand. It's called the five-year rule. So if you wanna withdraw those contributions that you put into a Roth IRA, maybe you have some major emergency and you wanna take the money out, you have to wait at least five years before you had the account open. So aging this account is incredibly important. Now, this is in addition to that 59 and a half age limit as well. So if you wanna withdraw down contributions or you wanna take some of the money that grew after the age of 59 and a half, you still have to have that account open for at least five years. It doesn't matter if you're 64, 65, 66, it doesn't matter what age you are, you still have to have that account open past age 59 and a half as well. But then the question comes into play, should you open a Roth IRA? So one of my favorite things to think through this is for most people, Roth IRAs are absolutely amazing, especially because you don't know what future tax rates are going to be. So if your tax rates are really low right now, a Roth IRA is a fantastic option. Why? Because you're paying taxes on the money going in, the money grows tax-free, and you can pull the money out tax-free. So if you anticipate being in a higher tax bracket later on in life, then you definitely want to look into opening up that Roth IRA. In addition, the Roth IRA is a fantastic account because of that tax-free growth. If you have a million dollars in a Roth IRA and say you get a 10% rate of return, well, $800,000 of that is going to be tax-free growth and a 10% rate of return if you maxed out that Roth IRA. That's $800,000 of tax-free money. A Roth IRA is a fantastic account when you look at how much compound interest impacts that over time. So if you wanna be a tax-free millionaire and put your dollars into a Roth IRA, you could put $540 per month in the year 2023 into a Roth IRA to max it out. If you repeat that over the course of 30 years, you can have over $1 million in a Roth IRA by the time you retire. Listen, I hope you guys learned a ton about Roth IRAs. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. We will answer every single one of them. And don't forget to make friends in the comments. High five some buddies in the comments. In addition, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. And if you enjoyed this video, we'll see you on the next video.